For the fourth year straight, the UN Security Council met to hold talks on North Korea's human rights violation. Despite strong objections by China and Russia, the members discussed issues ranging from abductions by the regime to defections. Wu Zhengyi has the details. The UN Security Council held its fourth annual meeting on Monday to discuss North Korea's human rights abuses. The meeting was called after a procedural vote where 10 countries voted in favor of holding it, while China, Russia and Bolivia voted against, and Egypt and Ethiopia abstained. U.N. ambassadors condemned a continued pattern of serious human rights violations in North Korea and the fact that there's not been much progress on issues like family reunions, abductions, or the protection of basic economic and social rights. Washington's ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, stressed that North Korea's nuclear weapons development is based on the oppression of ordinary citizens who are forced into labor or into working abroad to earn hard currency for the states. The systematic human rights violations and abuses of the North Korean government are more than the cause of its people's suffering. They are a means to a single end, keeping the Kim Jong-un regime in power. The regime is using that power to develop an unnecessary arsenal and support enormous conventional military forces that pose a grave risk to international peace and security. But China and Russia argued that the UN Security Council is not the right forum to discuss the issue. Council members and relevant parties should avoid mutual provocation and words or actions that may further escalate the situation. The Council's discussion of North Korean human rights issues runs counter to this objective and is counterproductive. The Security Council has never been, and nor is it now, a UN toolkit in charge of human rights protection and promotion. It's not fit for monitoring compliance or analyzing related situation. North Korea claimed that there are no human rights abuses in the regime. Pyongyang's representatives to the UN released a statement calling the discussions a hopeless act by countries who have lost politically and militarily to a nuclear North Korea. The statement added that if the human rights discussion is meant to threaten the regime, that goal will never be achieved. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.